Hello and welcome back. My name is Andre. And I'm Dominika. And we're back again with another reaction to John Den I'm sorry, I was uh, I was looking at the <laughs> at the picture. John Denver with Rocky Mountain High. Right. Uh Jolly Giraffe, thank you very, very much for all thank your you. another request. Uh thank you for your choice because and thank you for the message and thank you for the lyrics. I checked the lyrics and I was every I was reading, I was oh, oh it's <laughs> oh, it's definitely my cup of tea if it comes to lyrics. Um, uh, and you also mentioned that this uh, kind of video clip is going to have some uh, clips from mm. Colorado State, right? Rocky Mountains. With the beautiful, yeah, with the beautiful, beautiful landscape. So I cannot wait. Putting the lyrics and the, what you said in the message, the video is going to be looking like. And now if you add the music, I'm probably sold already. Right? You're already. I'm already. Yeah, give me anything about the nature. I don't care what it is. And I'm, I'm there. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. He was born in the summer of his 27th year Coming home to a place he'd never been before He left yesterday behind him I'd say he found the key for every door When he first came to the mountains His life was far away On the road and hanging by a song But the string's already broken And he doesn't really care It keeps changing fast And it don't last long They say that he got crazy once and he tried to touch the sun And he lost a friend but kept the memory Now he walks in quiet solitude, the forests and the streams Seeking grace in every step he takes His sight has turned inside himself to try and understand the serenity of a clear new mountain lane. Sorry, I want to stop on one picture. It was... Uh, wow. You know what? Obviously, the views is the first thing you, you kind of absorb when you, when you see. Um, absolutely amazing. But listening to the lyrics, it's a, it's a song about finding yourself and finding this connection, uh, connection with... Uh, Nature. With nature, but also with uh, with your kind of inner self, uh, and find this peace. And what's better way to do it than go to the Colorado Rocky Mountain hike, right? You know, I it looks uh, like I don't know. You always say America have everything, and if you look, it's just one state. I mean, and, and he's got everything. And I never ever see kind of something like that. This is so amazing. Look, looking at all. I was, wow, you see the mound the reflection in a while. It's just so, so beautiful. You, there are Nature no words. There are no it? words yeah. to put it in. I don't know. They really, really got it. I, I, that would be probably, you know, the more we watch from, from America, and more people we meet uh, through this mm. from America, uh, my kind of uh, hunger for visit America is growing and growing. It's absolutely amazing. Um, and you know what this guy... I don't know, uh, Joy Giraffe mentioned in her message that he's definitely, uh, no, we don't know him, mm -hmm. but he's uh, well known in America. Uh, he sadly, tragically passed away when he was only 53, too soon. But he was an American singer and songwriter and uh, 
I think it was the acoustic folk he mm. he made it well known, uh, which is when I listen to that because it's like so simple. It's just going back to your roots and yeah, go out, go to the forest. And it, this is the song for me, the reason why I arrive. Romania and why we want to start our life in here is exactly what he's singing about right wow, it's so... I don't know some things just mm, touch your heart in such a way and I know how much you love this kind of stuff because in the most all, basic is, way wow. is, now we're just watching the video but you all day talking about this kind of stuff you all day <laughs> come on let's go out let's go you yeah this is really your cup of tea it's yeah. just I well, say, you know, I, it's not, I mean, I can see why. I mean, look at that, you know. Even how much I love cities more than nature, in a way, for me is. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I cannot deny it. It's, I don't know. I'm just looking at this, staring at the screen like an idiot, is it? That's what I mean. It's, a, it's so unreal. Some of the images, I, I, it's just like someone created them on the computer and uh, mm. enhanced the, uh, the colors and everything. It's so pure and so beautiful. Um, I'm ready. Exactly like the song say. It Look just call, call yeah, you back to. Mm. <sighs> I don't think it's real. I don't think it's real. It's too, too beautiful to be real. I, it's real for sure, man. It's the yeah. of a clear blue mountain lane. In the Colorado Rocky Mountain High. I've seen it rain and fire in the sky. Talk to God and listen to the casual reply. Rocky Mountain High. Rocky Mountain High. Now his life is full of wonder. And his heart still those in fear of a simple thing. While they try to tear the mountains down to bring in a couple more, more people, more scars upon the land. Wow. Colorado. More people, more scars upon the land. Oh, shoot. We said John Denver. I don't think it was a. Um... A better song for Rocky Mountains, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I did hear um, here. I did read on a on a Google that he uh, prior that song was created. He moved three years prior mm -hmm. that to Colorado State, uh, wow. so obviously it was imprinted in his heart. So, so you have another two years, so you have to do a song too about Romania. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, you know what the thing is. It uh, we I don't know. Sometimes I feel. Some of us, we appreciate nature a bit too late in life or simple things, or mm -hmm. we are too grabbing this kind of rat race, you so, always yeah, call yeah. it. Oh, the the rush wheel, and, uh, just is go. just... Hustle is for what? When everything can be much simple, much easy, much beautiful. When you really stop and really smell the air, you look at the sky, we don't really do it, you know? And we did talk about it and we know about it, but we still... It's so bloody annoying. It is. I mean, you always never finish your chores. You always have something to do. You always is. It's just when is get that peace. You you know, I want peace in a way. You know, you when when you gonna get all of this? So, I Soon. promise. Yeah. Mm. It's just have to. You have to find your your place. You know, in the world, and then I think you might be able to experience. I'm hoping that that's when. You promise now, you don't hope now. Uh, okay, I promise, I, I promise you, I'll make you this uh, peaceful... You stop on really what a yeah, picture really. you stop And on. you know what, that actually makes me sad because we see a similar picture over um, Romania, isn't it? You mm. know how the mountains are being cut for... Yeah, they're mines. And how the trees are being uh, cut also for the uh businesses yeah. and all that and illegal cutting in here it's a it's a plague isn't yeah, it yeah it is because a lot of uh, bigger foreign companies come and um, they just demand uh, more and more mm -hmm. trees, and Romania slugs and they bends but anyway i don't want to go that yeah. far 
but it's a uh, uh, it uh, this makes me really really sad you know what also makes me sad when we go to the forest or go somewhere and you see i, I think that makes me angry more than sad rubbish when mm. i see not even the, the rubbish although that's unacceptable when someone brought the rubbish and just dumped them in the forest or somewhere when when people going for the for a hike and mm. then they barbecue. had a yeah barbecue or whatever they're going in the nature to enjoy the nature and they leave rubbish behind them mm. or they had a chocolate bar and they throw the paper on the ground and they just moved on with the hike this means it makes me angry because i i cannot understand my brain is too small to comprehend why would you do that this is that you you cannot give me any good reason for why would you do that this it's not it's not heavy I can give it's not you a reason. well stupidity well they are a bit too yeah yeah i mean i, I did want to call it even worse than no, that, that, but that, i let's prefer not. not to but that that these things like that it, it honestly makes me Makes me really, really sad and angry when people do something like that. But anyway, I, I don't want to spoil the song. Uh, I'm going. Ready? What a forest and mountains, <laughs> well, you know lakes. What I was and... looking at it, I was thinking, oh my God, Romania has got, uh, it's not only Romania, because we've been in Poland, even England, you know, wherever you go, you find some absolutely stunning Europe. and beautiful, yes, uh, and beautiful. Every country has got mm -hmm. something so special and unique about them. Uh, so you cannot just narrow down the only in America, but there are some things that uh, the only in the, they feel like only there. Yeah, they're only there. It's the same. There are some things that feel like only in in Romania or Poland or wherever you go, Spain. Uh, but you know what? That was so so beautiful. Um, it almost felt like he paid the tribute to the to the mm. Rocky Mountain High, which I probably he did. Uh, and I hope you know. I really really truly hope that the song is coming from from his own kind of uh, mm -hmm. journey. Uh, which is such a beautiful journey. I think the moment you realize uh, there are things more important than money and material objects, um, that's when you experience this kind of happiness. Then you really start to be rich. And it's exactly what he said. You 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 poor until you see the uh, mm. um, eagle fly. And I I think that's mm. exactly how it is. Until you actually you know. You see these little things, how important and beautiful they are, and you experience that and you appreciate them. Then your your money cannot buy. It. Why did they didn't teach us this kind of stuff at the <laughs> school? You know, I mean, why are they just I don't know. It's well, so crazy. Kids just oh, I need a new iPhone because that's make you happy yeah. till the next one come or something like that. Why is a trip in nature or uh, I don't know. Animals. Oh, I don't know. Well, we when I was so younger, we things. were going. We were definitely. I remember it was the uh, this time of the year when the school started in September. We were going with the school on the field to dig up potatoes. Then we were going to the um, like a forest school. We were going on Saturdays, and it was mandatory in the morning once a month to put the new trees in a mm. in a forest. I think we were doing. We were going to the forest or to the park to identify the the, the plants and the leaves and all that. We were doing a lot of that. But do you think they're still doing these days? In I the city, kids do. keep doing this stuff. I don't think. So. I think right now it's very competitive. Probably they even do school really... from home these days. 
a lot of places I think they do do that. I think you it's don't even go days, out to socialize. It's very, with very people. competitive. I, my, uh, what to say? My son's got three, three daughters. No, not my son. <laughs> my brother. brother's got three daughters, <laughs> and um, when actually I listen to him, uh, wow, it's it's a little bit sad how much work they have to do at school. And it's not that my school was like I didn't have to work or you had to do homework, you had to have your backpack with your heavy books and all that. But right now it's like you have to be the best in everything and then you have to have more additional um kind of lessons and the more you do the more points you get and then the new better school you go and it's like school is not about learning anymore it's about who is the best who's got more who is who is you know the high position and i don't know back in the day for me it was a little bit different i had a great time at school though i didn't like to learn stupid me but uh, <laughs> but i had a really really great time in school uh yeah. so i don't know uh I'm I'm very grateful for the times I was born, uh, if it comes to because I think it was the, my generation was the last generation before all this technology kicked in, and mm. then uh, I see my son and he's got completely different experience, and it's really really sad sometimes. But you always say you wish to be. Oh, even even back. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah, that's for sure. I uh, because of the music. I would like to be even further back in a born in the 60s, 50s, 60s, maybe my parents' generation. Not necessarily in Poland, because then I don't know if I would experience all of that music mm. would come to us. Well, for me, it's different. If I was not born in Romania, I would emigrate to Romania. Well, you say that, but that's no, not true. You no. would be very much no. patriotic to the country you were born in. Romania. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we've gone right. a little bit uh, off the topic. Uh, I did love it so much. Thank you very much, Jolly Giraffe. This is definitely something, it almost feels like you've done it for me. So I say personal thank you from Dominica. <laughs> Uh, because that's something I, I definitely value in life, I would say, this kind of thing. So thank you so, so much. Right. Hope you enjoy our reaction and see you again next time. Have a lovely day and all the best. Bye-bye. Bye for now.